At the start of the inquiry, opponents of the scheme screened a video they prepared to illustrate the rural environment they say is under threat from the development. The effects of the pandemic has meant exceptional access for everyone interested because it's available on YouTube. I would say that the biggest benefit to the community is that you can all be there to watch it. Like you can also catch up afterwards, so you can log on in the evening, pop it on in the background and listen to it while you're cooking your dinner. And it's gripping. It's very gripping because you can see everyone's, you know, the whites of their eyes, quite literally. 60,000 apple trees will be taken up across 126 acres if the development goes ahead. Anne-Claire Howard is another member of the group opposing the Pump Lane development and watching the inquiry online. There are a lot of concerns around productivity of land in this country, especially as we aim to more self-sufficiency when it comes to food products. And this is best and most versatile agricultural land. The land as it stands is worth about £700,000 thereabouts as a fruit orchard. Once planning application has been approved, should it happen, that land will instantly overnight become £189 million worth of land. And furthermore, once houses are then built on the site and sold, it could create an income of over £500 million. So there is a lot of money at stake. Medway Council has not yet completed its local plan, a document that identifies uses for land. Opponents say it would never have identified this farm as suitable for development, even though there's pressure for more housing in the area. The type of housing that's required is affordable housing. What we're seeing with recent developments is these are not affordable houses. You look at the average price on the market of most of these developments, they are four, five bedroom houses for families, for not people who are trying to get onto the property ladder, but for people who are already on it. Lawyers acting for owners A.C. Gotham and Son, who bought the land in 2011, told the inquiry the weather makes the land unsuitable for growing apples and the need to transport the fruit to their base in Who makes it unviable. Having heard the evidence, the planning inspector will make her recommendation to the Secretary of State for Housing, who will decide the outcome later this year. Sandy Fleming for Raynham News.